Although according to astrophysics, the universe is still expanding, according to the game we're going to take a look today, a game by Mirrorbox Games, the universe is collapsing in its final few seconds and the players have to find the void in order to be the masters of the new universe. And that is what Chaosmos is all about. It's a fun game for two to four people age 14 or up, that was very successfully funded in Kickstarter a little while ago. So uh, it's been well received, and if you're thinking about buying it, you may want to consider it. But are the contents of this box worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it? Let's find out. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing video. Designed by Joey Viga, as I said at the end of the introduction, Chaosmos did fund very nicely in Kickstarter and they've done an awful lot of it, which is why this box is so weighty and full of promise and hopefully goodness as well. Let's take the plastic off. And I am guessing that the cover represents the ovoid, uh, something in an oval kind of shape, you know, the, the shape of an egg, that is what's going to make sure that whoever has it is going to become the master of the universe to come after the uh, universe is our universe, you know, the existing one where we now implodes, which is, as I said, you know, scientifically, it's still expanding, so you have nothing to worry about. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Ooh, now this is a very thick box. This is nice. This feels very, very good. I like this. Yeah, of course you can still bend it, come on. You don't need to be Superman to do that. Uh, but it feels very heavy, it feels really solid in your hand, which is very good indeed. Rule book, it's fairly weighty. There seems to be a fair amount of it. Oh. Oh. Prettiness. Prettiness in the shape of a lot of very well put and big illustrations. Yes, the design, the graphic design of the rule book is nothing to scream about. Uh, in the sense that, you know, there's nothing hyper thematic about the, uh, the rule book. But and it looks busy enough, but everything is very big, everything is very easy to see. That's, that's all right. That's, that's actually quite all right. I like this, this book. There's a fair amount of, to it. 16 pages, but good. you get a kind of a box where you're going to have some cards. Be careful when you are taking them out and separating because they don't separate perfectly uh, in every place and these can easily, easily get bent. So be mindful, don't let children do this because, you know, money, bend, bend, and an assemble, which can be a little bit tricky. But that's nice. I'm sure you get the gist of this, but I'm just enjoying this too much, so sorry. It won't be a minute. Indulge me. I like putting things together. Ta-da! 
I like that. <laughs> nice little detail where to put your cards. That's great. Good idea. Let's leave that there for the time being. Now, more tokens. Good thickness. I, I like that they come out of the, the sprue very easily, which is excellent. Good thickness. Some interesting illustrations in here. And another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, another one. And another. Oh, that's the last one. That is a lot of carnival for your money. That is... That's very good. Good size. The illustrations are okay. The illustrations are... Yeah, they, they, they are fine. I'm not going to complain about them. Um, they're a little bit generic. And on some of the decisions they've made regarding our direction, uh, I wouldn't agree with them. But um, they're quite simple to see. And they look pretty enough. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is okay. There's room for improvement, but there's nothing inherently wrong uh, with them as far as I can tell. So, yeah. Just being picky. You're fine. A few buggies. Good detail. Play boards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten of them. Nice. Very nice. They are not fully rigid. They can be bent easily, but they are thicker than the standard cardboard. So that's good. So that is very good. Indeed. The uh, design is okay. It's actually very okay because you can see everything pretty much right away your abilities, your game end, a little bit of flavor text around the creatures. That's right. They could be, I, I would have loved to see this the same as the tokens. I think that would have been a really nice addition to it. Um, but at least they're not the flimsy type, so that's fine. Same with these little screens that you're going to put in front of you to keep your resources hidden from, from the other players. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Again, I would have preferred to see these as a more rigid. Production costs, I can imagine these are not cheap to produce. So, okay, I'm prepared to cut them some slack for it, uh, which is fair enough. And they're quite handy to have in there. So, okay, again, room for improvement, but there's nothing inherently wrong with it. The minis, and we have 10 of them, and each one is different. Actually, they're quite weighty, I like this. Um, they are very original. I am liking this, and okay, the sculpting is actually very, very decent. Very decent indeed. There's nothing, you know, they're, they're not the highest end quality minis that you can buy and find in other games. But they are actually very good, and because they come in the right color, you're not going to get confused which, which, which one is your, your mini when you're playing the game. There's a bit of difference between the quality of some and the others, and others. But overall, I'm okay with this. Um, mostly because they are 10 
a unique Mini. So if they were an awful lot of them, then fine. You know, they could have spent a lot, a lot more time doing it. But producing this, 10 minutes in a game, is not a cheap thing to do at all. It's actually quite expensive. So the fact that they've managed, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Pretty. They look pretty. We have a couple of decks of cards, but these are going to take me a while to open, so I'm going to take a look at the rest of the stuff first. Oh, okay. This is very cute. We have some little car, car holders here that can already assemble. And I guess we're going to have 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How could I possibly know that? This is a really nice detail. Not just that it comes with it, but the fact that they come already assembled. This is really cool. Well, well done indeed. They've obviously gone out of their way to try to make something that's as good as possible, which I'd really appreciate. And this is your rubber circle, so you can put one of the counters together, which is a circular counter. And some stoppers. Like it. And last but not least, before I go into the cards, some dice that feel very good in the hand, good sound to them, and engraved icons and numbers. Only four, but obviously you don't need any more for the game, which is good. And now the cards. I, I reckon that game manufacturers do this just to annoy me, because they take a while to open. Nice quality, they are okay. They are what I would be expecting, nothing, nothing fantastic. Again, sleeve your cards, people. Please do sleeve your cards. The graphic design is all right. It has a couple of issues um, that are not uh, dreadfully keen on. That icon at the bottom, I would have preferred to see it a little bit more prominent. If it's a trap, I would have liked to see an icon with it. A bit more, again, a little bit more prominently. The font is a little bit simplistic. The illustrations are pretty good. Yeah, the illustrations are fine. Look, the avoid. And, and there, is a, there is quite a discrepancy between the style and the quality of some illustrations and others. There are some absolutely outstanding illustrations here. Absolutely outstanding, where there are others that are a little bit more um, naive in, in their execution. So from the point of view of the art direction, I would have preferred to see the whole thing a little bit more consistent. Uh, but again, that's just a minor minor thing. They do what they're meant to do, a bit of mistakes here and there, but again, nothing that's going to ruin, I don't think, the, uh, the, the game experience. You know what? I am actually quite okay with, with this game, considering this is the first time these guys have produced something, that the whole thing came out of Kickstarter. They have some absolutely fantastic ideas as to what to do to have this rubber band to assemble your counter, to have these pouches, which is really great. Having 10 unique minis for each game, that's absolutely excellent as well. The size of the cards is, is good. The, the whole thing is an absolutely brilliant effort for, for a company that's done this is the first game they do. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely, yes. We're, like everywhere else uh, but they have some really good really fantastic details that I cannot but praise time and time again 
and, and I am really chuffed with it, really chuffed. So many congratulations indeed, and I look forward to seeing what you guys are going to be doing with, with the next game. This is recommended, I, I like what's, what's been done with it, so well done, well done indeed. Viewers, thank you very much indeed for being there with us today, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so uh, you can get notifications when we give you some more videos. And if you're so inclined, please do consider becoming one of our Patreons because this website needs your help to keep going. Thank you very much indeed.